Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and I hope you're well and well be welcome to the month of October, the month of Halloween, the month of the witches, the phantoms, ghosts and so on. Today I bring you not a so different uh, video that I that I usually do, but Today I begin a new project. So, for the month of October, I thought, as you could see from the um, beginning of the video, of the intro of the video, with some spooky things, I'm commemorating the month of October, the month of Halloween, with a dedicated theme. So all my videos that will come out every Wednesday and Sunday from now on till the end of the month will be thematic. So first of all I have to announce that this idea is not original. I borrow it I borrowed it uh, from another booktuber, a Brazilian booktuber. She is called Tatiana Feltrin. I will leave here the image to her YouTube channel. Um, she's my, as I've said in my last video, she's my favorite booktuber. I watch her religiously. She also does uh, the month or the horror month. That's what I'm announcing. So this month will be the horror month where she uh, in for, for all of the month she just uploads videos about short stories and books of the genre of horror horror mystery uh, death terror you know all about this type of genre and so i thought the idea was super fun super original and so I thought to do the same in my channel. Please go check her out. She only speaks in Portuguese, so... And I'm, I don't think she has subtitles. I don't th think so. But, well, if you do speak Portuguese, please go check her out. She is right now doing uh, the, the horror month. She has already uploaded one video and she will upload one today as well. If you knew her already, please let me know in the comments. I love to know where you go to watch videos about books. And you could tell me as well which are your favorite booktubers. And if you know of other YouTubers or booktubers that do the same thing, that dedicate a month or are all about this type of genre, please let me know. I love to see their channels as well to get inspiration and get reading ideas. I love to get to know other booktubers. It's my favorite thing. So I will do the same. I will, um, I'll try to do alternate between short stories and uh, novels, short novels, because I don't have so much time to read a really full novel so i already picked my readings i will upload the video wednesday and sunday till the end of the month and in every video the intro will be the intro that you saw so to commemorate the horror month to be a little bit different she uh, is it was also an idea from tatiana feltrin so she does it as well. She begins her videos with an intro with spooky things and spooky images and spooky um, sound effects. So I, of course, imitate her in that particular idea as well. So I hope she doesn't mind I'm borrowing her idea because I think, you know, it's so fun. Uh, and I don't usually read anything 
something surrounding horror or mystery. So I think this will open my brain to new genres and new type of writing. So yeah, in today's video I will bring you a short story by Edgar Allan Poe. I never have read anything by Poe. So, so this is was my this was my first story that I read from him and the story is The Black Cat. It's a well-known short story, very famous, one of his um, most known short stories and I thought I open this horror month with you know a famous one and beginning with also an author that is a reference to the genre that's L Edgar Allan Poe so he is very famous for his writing the way that he um, embellish his stories and I have to say that I really enjoyed reading it it was really short so because it's a short story right but it was really short and really 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 addicting it's like I read it in one sitting well of course because it's short I didn't have any excuse not to do that but it's really fast a fast reading and it was really fun um, the, the, the way that he writes um, is very it's like he, sometimes he has really short sentences and it's really um, I don't know how well if I'm going to explain it so well but it's really fast reading and you want to devour the words so but first let me talk about what the story is about so first of all I read it in Portuguese with this volume I have here that is called Extraordinary History Stories I'm sorry Extraordinary Stories this is all short stories from Edgar Allan Poe and one of them is The Black Cat and uh, the day before yesterday I read it also in English because I want to um, read Edgar Allan Poe in the original I think that important because it's the um, as I understand English and Poe write, wrote in English I think it is um, a way for me to practi practice my English and also see the language that Poe uses in English so that's why I opted to read in both languages. The first one, my uh, mother tongue, uh, so I could understand the story, and then in English to expand my vocabulary and read Poe in his native language. So the story is about a man, and his type of like his writing a letter in a way because he's speaking to the reader so he begins the story begins with a man talking to us uh, and he is telling us that he's about to tell a story that happened with him or to him and that maybe the reader wouldn't believe that it happened or is a um, horrible story and he begins to tell us that when he was a young man he was really docile and gentle that he loved to have pets and his parents cultivated that in him and he was used to have all sorts of pets and he had joy in having them and he would like to stroke them and talk to him to them and so on 
and he married young with a woman that wasn't so different from him. In the beginning, it was all lovely, you know, but um, as the time would pass, the, his temperament began to change. He became more violent towards his wife and even more violent towards his pets because he presents to us that uh, his wife was really encouraged uh, encouraging of him to have pets so they have birds they have a dog and they have a cat called Pluto so it was an all black cat and his wife that was a bit su uh, superstitious would say that you know black cats are known to be witches in disguise but you know he didn't care about that and we are also presented that the reason that his temperament has changed was because of alcohol so he he would drink a lot because of that one night he arrives home and the cat is, try, is trying to flee from him and he catches him and the cat bites him and scratches him and so he took it takes um, he takes out his knife and he rips up it, he rips off an eye from the cat that's the situation number one so he rips up he, he rips off the eyes cat the cat's eye and then the cat would run from him and he would be ir irritated and one day in a way of take the cat's misery he decides to put a rope around the cat's neck and hanging him from a tree so he kills the cat and then in the same night that he does that his house burns all of it so it, it was like a consequence in a way of what he did and when he goes to see the scrambles of his house I don't know if it's the right term but I don't remember another way to say it so some people were gathering around and they were talking about the figure that they were seeing in a wall that didn't um, come down and he went and saw it and it was like a shadow of a cat with a rope and it was like someone knew what he did and then some days pass and he's in a store and there he sees um, another cat but this cat was a bit different this cat was black but he had a white spot in his chest and the cat was really friendly and uh, he approaches the man that we never know the name um, and the man starts to stroke him and he went to the man of the store and asks him if the cat is for sale and how much is it the but the man says that the cat isn't his and so he goes home and the cat follows him there another day passes and or some days i don't remember so well i don't have i'm not sure um, and the cat is in a house 
and all, all goes well until it doesn't. So the man begins to be bothered by the cat because he notices that the cat doesn't have an eye. So it's like he's a remembering of the cat that he killed. And he becomes to be irritated by the presence of the cat. And one day he is doing errands with his wife and they go to the basement and the cat goes after them and he, almost, he, he goes between the legs of the man and he almost trips down. So he picks up an axe and is about to do a blow on the cat but the wife picks up the cat so he misses and with the rage that he was in he does a blow on the head of the wife so he kills her right there and then he's thinking what he's going to do so he, it's like in the moment he doesn't have regret he ju he, he's just thinking on how he's going to get rid of the body and then it comes down to an idea because in the basement the walls weren't really well finished so he remembers to put the wife in between walls and build a wall in front of it so and it is dead and is that what he does after he does that the cat is not to be found so it's like he disappears and that night he says that he slept like a baby with no remorse and the source of irritation and anger that was the cat didn't appear anywhere so he was in peace and then some day, days pass and the police comes to his house to do an investigation and they go to the basement with him so they let him um, go with them to do the search and they don't see anything suspicious and they were coming up and then the man for some reason becomes to babble so saying stuff and he's like oh are you going um, you have to know that this house is real well constructed and oh a detail that I didn't say so they moved that part of the story is not really specified but they moved to um, worst house that they were in because all his wealth burned down with the house um, with the previous house so they were in a, a worse scenario but moving 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 on so the man begins to babble and he says that type of stuff and he had like a stick in his hands and he, he like he bumps the wall that he had constructed and like in in that moment a sound begins to form from the wall it's like a scream a horrible scream of a person in the first that that what it appeared and everyone like froze then they start turning turning down the wall and what they find they find the body of the wife there like in a um, the composition already and the cat was in top of her head with something red on his mouth so and then the story ends other detail that I didn't say is that we, uh, in the middle of the story he tells us that he's in a cell so he's and is the first and the only time that he says that well we could 
suppose that he was in jail because of what happened at the end of the story, but he says that he is in a cell in the middle of it. So, so this is like um, not so far away story that we read in the newspaper, right? So this is a type of story that I think is real and realistic and very realistic um, and we see it's not so much about ghosts or supernatural stuff it's about real human behavior and it shows how um, an external factor can have such an impact on human behavior so in this particular story we are talking about alcohol and this was a subject that was really close to Edgar Allan Poe well I cannot say too much about that because I don't I didn't read uh, any biography about the author so I don't know much about his life but what I know is that he struggled with, with alcohol in his life and he was many times inebriated so he knew very well what were the consequences of drinking too much and in here we see a version of that it's not if i'm not mistaken i think the name of the cat pluto is um if not the same a similar name of a god of the roman era the god of the underworld the underworld so it's like uh, a reference to that so it's like the the cat is calling for the, um, the um, worst behavior of the man in terms of writing and just in a how can I say it, more literal and technical perspective of this story, I think it's brilliant. It's so well written and it's so... It has the essential parts, so it doesn't dive too, too much on details. You get the story like really fast. The writing is exceptional. I really love to re uh, reading this story. Um, you want to read every, you know, for the first situation that you read that he um, rips off the eye of the cat, so it, you like, what? What? What was he thinking? Like, why did he do that? And you want to read more to know what's going to happen? So it's really addicting in that way, so really fun, although horrible, right? But you know it's a story uh, and then for the other part you can take with you um, a moral story of this short story so it talks about real world problems and it's not like you haven't read this in, a, in news or saw it in news so it's not so far away from our reality and what really happens in the real world so it's scary in a way because you know this is believable it's not like a ghost story at least I have to make a parenthesis here I don't believe in ghosts so if you do that's your thing I don't believe so for me that's you know fantasy but um, yeah it was um, well staying with this in mind that this is a story and you have to see it just as it is I think this was super fun I love reading this you will love to read it too it's not it's like I can't say it's so scary 
it's scary in a way that you think that this could happen to anyone, right? But in uh, seeing this through a uh, reading experience, it was not scary for me. So it was fun, really. So I would really advise you to check it out. And please let me know if you are a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, if you have read anything else from him, and if yes, please leave me suggestions of other short stories or other books by him that are your favorites. And yeah, I think I'm going to stay here. Oh, so one thing that I see and I agree with it, that I hear many people saying is that as this story is a first person uh, narration so the first person narration shouldn't be trusted because it can be partial right so it, it's a version of the truth it's not what real really happened so we may be in doubt of the um, the things that this narrator says to us but for all that he says it's still horrible but well yeah that was the parenthesis that i did uh, want to take to make please let me know if you are a fan of first person narrations or if you prefer the third so that type of things are some things that I'm discovering still. So I really love when the narrator talk to me, talks to me. I think it's really fun. It gives another dimension to the reading experience, at least in my opinion. So I really love when that happens. So that's what, that was one of the things that I most enjoyed reading this short story. But please let me know if this is your case or if it's not. And what is your type or your favorite type of narrator? Yeah, let me know. So yeah, I think that's it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like, it helps out the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, that's it. Happy October month, happy Halloween mon month. I hope you enjoyed the idea. Please let me know what you thought about this idea and this project. And tell me, um, you know, your suggestions so I could know more stuff to bring to the channel in this month. And yeah, that's it. I see you on the next one. Bye.